Hello and thank you for watching 2carpros.com. In this video we are going to show you how to replace the front brake pads and brake rotor on a Honda Civic from years 2006 to 2011. Let's get started with elevating the front end on level ground with the e-brake on. Then loosen and remove the lug nuts using the appropriate size socket, allowing us to remove the front wheel. Next we are going to rotate the brake assembly making it easier on us. Then remove the brake caliper slide bolts using a 12mm socket or wrench. If the brake caliper slide pins spin while loosening the bolts, a pair of vice grips might be needed to use to hold the slides. Then remove the brake caliper and find a spot to place it, making sure it does not just hang from the brake line damaging it. Using a standard screwdriver remove the old brake pads, as you can see with ours that there is minimal life left in the pads, needing to be replaced. Next step is to remove the brake caliper mounting bracket by using a 17mm socket to remove the hardware. Our next step is to use an impact screwdriver to remove the hardware holding the brake rotor while using eye protection. We like to compare our new brake rotor with our old brake rotor to be sure a proper install. Then using breaker carb cleaner and an old shop towel, clean the surface where the new brake pads will be touching. Also clean the surface where the brake rotor will be touching the hub. Install the new brake rotor using the hardware you removed from before. Reinstall the brake caliper mounting bracket using the hardware you removed from before. Using a 17mm socket, tighten them to factory torque specifications. We like to compare our new brake pads to our old brake pads to be sure a proper install.
clean the surface where the new brake pads will be installed to. Install the new brake pads. The one with the metal tang goes to the inside. Using an old brake pad and a large pair of channel locks or a brake caliper compression tool, compress the piston back into the brake caliper. Reinstall the brake caliper using the hardware you removed from before and tightening them with the 12mm socket, torquing them to factory specifications. Next, reinstall the wheel back to the vehicle using the lug nuts you removed from before, hand tightening them to avoid cross threading, then tightening them in a cross pattern formation, torquing them to factory specifications. After doing both sides of your brake repair, before operating the vehicle, press down on the brake pedal slowly, then release the brake pedal slowly, repeating this process until you find what is called brake pedal pressure. Then the vehicle is safe to drive. Please click our subscribe button and like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching 2carpros.com.